This is called the real queen modernizing the monarchy. <laughs> it's so unreal. I'm not going to put anything else. Well, I don't know. I put all this up, but now then the world's focused on the illegal. Harry and uh, Meghan. And I'm going to say it again. I was brought to Moulton, Alabama when I was two years old from the arms of loving parents, King Edward VIII and my mom, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe. Oh, uh, this woman has always known. She's used my money and I um, hope they show what was done to me. If you want to, I've said this, so I'm just going to leave it. Uh, there's an old saying here where I was brought up in Moulton, Alabama, on the pigsty farm, so abused. I was watching last night all the cameras turn, and this is worldwide. <laughs> you should ask why. They're part of the Illuminati. They stole it, Elizabeth and her father, and took it from my father and used to double to do it. And uh, married Wallace Simpson. He was married to my mom, legit. I was born legitimate heir to the British crown. History tells you that Wallace Simpson married King Edward VIII, and he uh, was already married to my mom, so it's a lie, in 1937. There was an addendum to this takedown of my father with lies by the Illuminati, and I'm the real monarch, and it's legal. But she's here being praised by the world. She represents the Illuminati, so did her father, George, the illegal six that helped in my kidnapping. with President Roosevelt in 39, the year I was born. So they had to get rid of me. They got rid of my dad, they thought, so now they had to get rid of me. And if you want to show a horror story that was done to anyone, but all this focus on the Queen and, and uh, Meghan being an American. My mom was an American. <laughs> she was the actual Queen, so long as you don't tell it. Um... Uh, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> well, so what am I going to say here? I put all this up. I've been calling that every name in the book for telling the truth. I watched that last night, and maybe I shouldn't put this up because I'd like back what's mine. But I realize unless the truth is told, and even then, okay? I... I, I guess there's an old saying where I grew up and in the South, kiss my grits. And that's to <laughs> all these good people here in this country that helped do this to me. And then my family sitting there, and uh, there's no wiggle room for them now because Megan, the, uh, Megan Markle, they're uh, promoting her now with She's Biracial. This has nothing to do with it. It has to do with who's the real monarch and the crimes committed against me. The illegal treaties my father wouldn't sign, so the Illuminati took him down, kidnapped me, took out my mom. And uh, that's how the Jews took over Israel. So it has to do with the end times, if you believe in the Bible, that when they took out my dad and kidnapped me. The fact I was writing, didn't know my real name at the time, and I was writing about chips being put in uh, root canals and heart bypasses. I'd work for doctors. And I'm going to show this again. You should be outraged, America. This is, um, first of all, you should be outraged at what's been done to me. This is Timothy McVeigh, who said they put a chip in him, the Army did, and he blew up, well, he didn't blow it up, the... Um, Oklahoma City bombing, the federal building, 
Uh, so here's the title, Implantable Biochips. This is what I was writing about in 76 when Larry Flint was shot. A program shooter. By the way, this is uh, the the uh, Wallace Simpson uh, being congratulated. This is um, Roosevelt's wife, I'm supposed to be President Roosevelt, and she's the first lady. <laughs> What a joke. Oh, my God. Um, okay, this is my dad. So, anyway, I um, guess I showed you this. This is um, Roosevelt, and this is Eleanor, his wife, the First Lady, by the way. This is George the Sixth. By the way, he's illegal. And there you go, 1939, planning my kidnapping. Took down his own brother. Help the Illuminati with illegal treaties that um, <laughs> allowed the United States and Sir Winston Churchill and General Eisenhower, all these people who have been made heroes. <laughs> the Kennedys, he became president after kidnapping me, Jeff K. His father was ambassador, put there by Roosevelt for the purpose of a takedown of my father, because he's a good guy, he had integrity, and instead, history has him marrying a double. That's Wallace and a double, that's not my father, it's one of the doubles. Here they're, they've kidnapped me, so they got rid of my dad again, didn't they? And here's how they, the, the phony was acting, if you can see it. That's not my dad. What a sick in Elizabeth. Look at it. Elizabeth's always known about me. All of them have. There was a picture in here of Aunt Anita. This is a picture here of the Duke and... I don't know what I'm showing here. Uh, Duchess at Palm Spring Polo Club. <laughs> West Palm Beach, March of 55. And um, I can remember that at that same, I think it's the same time, Anna Anita was there at the um, same polo match, Anita O'Keefe, my mom's sister. And I remember the table that it looked like, if you got the expression on Anita's face, because she would never have let that American spy that lied and took her sister's... <laughs> her sister, my mom's married to the King of England, and here you've got this mess that he's marrying this American whore, a <laughs> spy. Here she sits all gussied up. and The photo, I wish I had gotten it. Somebody took it out of my files, if you call my stuff files, <laughs> I do the best I can. But she had deliberately um, sat at a table, had an umbrella over it, uh, you know, beach umbrella. And it was at the same uh, thing here, the West Palm Beach, the polo club. And it looked like my Aunt Anita, Anita was ready to explode because this friggin' woman had the gall to sit down and mock. And that's what this has all been, Elizabeth and all of them. Mockery of the crimes they committed. And I'm going to stop.